You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a brand new face, Greater Brockton. <laughs> Lynn Tang, nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thanks for coming in. You are doing a really nice thing. I saw, I get so many things crossing the Facebook feed on a mm -hmm. regular basis. Um, basketball is played outdoors a lot in the summer. Right. There's a basketball clinic that people can get involved with yes. and a game itself. Yes. End of July, 729. Yes. Tell us about it and what inspired it and you okay. volunteered for it last year and I'm <laughs> yes. just learning all this about. Okay, well this is the Brockton Basketball Clinic. Um, it's run by the Lighthouse Dream and um, we are just basically trying to have a positive impact in the community and inspire the youth. Um, just recently the Brockton um, Athletics Department cut the budget and we're just trying to help children get more involved with sports because it's such a great positive avenue for children, mm -hmm. especially in Brockton, we have such a high crime rate. You know, this is a great thing to help inspire children to get into sports again because it can prevent them from getting into these negative avenues and stuff like sure. that. But um, this event is basically to help um, raise money for a scholarship as well for an athletic student. Um, it's going to be free food, it's going to be music, it's going to be a great activity for all the youth and for everybody who went to Brockton High who are in the community to come together and just do something positive for the community. I forgot to ask you where because I'm looking at the little <laughs> print. It, it's it's at the high school, right? Yes, it's in Brockton High. Yeah. Inside. Inside, in the okay, gymnasium. In the gym, yeah. because in the summer, there yeah. are the regular sports and different yeah. programs going on. There's, there's Brockton After Dark at night mm -hmm. and there's um, some stuff. We cover all the high school uh, basketball. Oh, okay, I Men's see. and women's basketball, Brock right. and High Varsity basketball all the time. And we follow them to the tournaments and all of that. So the clinic part is 10 to 2. Yes. Okay. And then the game itself yes. is 2 to 4. Yes. How many people can participate? What are the ages? What okay, are we... well, the ages for the youth for the actual clinic, it's from, um, I think, kindergarten to 12th grade. Okay. So grade school. Um, the alumni game is at the moment just for the varsity alumni players. Yeah. Just for them to get together and just have old time fun again on this game. Mm -hmm. um, last year we did have about 70 participants in the wow. clinic. Wow. So hopefully we're going to get a little bit more. Um, we just want this event to just get bigger every year. And just um, this is also involved with the City of Our Sports Foundation. Okay. So all the proceeds where we have from this event is going to go to them. And also the fundraiser for the scholarship for an athletic student right. for the first year of college. Save Our Sports has saved quite a few sports over the years. There oh, have wow. been budget cuts over the course of time going all the way back to the early 80s. Oh, wow. Okay, and I know a few people that have been involved in that organization. Mm -hmm. Gary Leonard, I think, might still be involved. I um, think so. A lot of people. They do They do different fundraisers. They've, they've I mean, sometimes mm -hmm. entire sports teams and sports right. have been eliminated. They've brought it back. Um, so, who are some of the people involved with you? Um, so, it's Derek Williams. Okay. He's a class of um, 2008. Mm -hmm. uh, at the moment, he is in finance and investment operations. Okay. He used to play in the football team and I believe in the basketball team as well. Yep, I remember that. Yep. Uh, Dominic Russell. Okay. He's uh, right now an accountant. He also graduated 2008. He was also in the varsity basketball team. Okay. Next person is Leah Serrano. Serena, sorry. Yeah. She's a teacher. She graduated 2008 as well. And the last person involved, other than myself, is my sister, Linda Tang. She's mm -hmm. actually a graduate student right now at Boston College for social work. And my name is Lynn. I actually graduated 2010, so That's I'm the youngest out of the group. You're the youngest of the whole group. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And did you play any sports? I did school? not, actually. Okay. Okay. But I did, um, yeah, my, like, I was surrounded by a lot of athletes, mm -hmm. and I seen the positive impact they had on them. And um, it's just a great energy and time to be around people who play sports because it just brings the community together and just gets you involved with meeting new people and just getting competitive energy. So tell me a little bit more about the Lighthouse Dream. What, um, what so the, they the are group? a outreach group mm -hmm. of uh, Brockton natives and uh, Brockton High alumni who just want to bring a positive impact to the community. and. Oh. Um, at, I believe they're going to be at the event and they're going to be selling some merchandise that they have, t-shirts right. and stuff like that. They, are, they sound like a nonprofit. Yes. That, okay, yes. so let them know they're always welcome to contact us and come oh, here yeah, and course. just promote their organization separately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just generic, you know, what the organization is, who's involved, just to get some buzz and get some... I'll definitely deliver so that message. Have them, we do this like every <laughs> other week. 
we I tape five or six at a time, and then okay. we rotate them and fit them into different blocks. Yeah, nine, definitely. Nine minute block. I'll definitely so, let them know. So sell it. Sell, sell it. Tell them out there <laughs> why they should come, why they should participate. Okay. You're very positive about this. You got a lot um, of energy. Tell them why they should come. Well, I think everybody should come to this event. It's going to be a great time for everybody to get together, share the positive energy, get some free food. Everybody loves free food, right? Um, great music and just a re reunion for everybody who went to Brockton High. Mm -hmm. You know, play sports, get the, like the old times, cheer on, and just inspire our youth. That's the most important thing is inspire our youth. I wish it was any other day other than that day. The only Why? reason I'm telling, well, we got the we, we got the big Cape Verdean weekend coming oh, up. It is uh, I didn't even Saturday know that. night, the 29th, is the Cape Verdean Gala. That's a night Sunday, though. I know, but. I get my staff working three days in a row. I, I would, I, we would have possibly covered this game oh, just to put it on great. TV. So maybe we'll talk for next year yes, to definitely. get it on because we do the organized sports. It's mm -hmm. fun to do a game that isn't, you know, it, it, it plays by all the same rules and everything. Right? Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna have referees and stuff like that. But it's more fun because it's not it, people aren't competing for you know, the stats to get the team to advance to the next level mm -hmm. or championships or anything like that. It's just people having fun. And yeah, out it's there just and, really and just having that. fun and just getting together. I uh, applaud you and all the oh, folks that are you. doing this. I, I think it's a wonderful it. thing. I was happy to see it. I'm glad you got in touch with us. And uh, anything you want to, is there, do you need volunteers for the event? Do you need donations we'll for the need, event or yeah, everything? Yeah, of course. Um, as of right now, we do have a great amount of sponsorships right now. Um, okay. Um, the Synthes is actually donating the food for us. Okay. Um, Walgreens is donating the water for the kids. Okay. Shaw's uh, also is donating snacks for the kids as well. Okay. Let's see. Um, we also have a whole bunch of different companies uh, that are just donating checks as well just nice. to help for nice. the raffle prizes and the scholarship. Um, Counselor at large, Ayanna Presley, is also donating some money oh. for the raffle prizes. Yes, okay. I work with her closely sometimes as well. Okay. Um, but anybody who wants to donate anything, cash or uh, check, can just donate it to um, Brockton Sports Foundation, Save Our Sports. Save Our Sports? Yes. Okay, and we'll find a number and get yes. that and put it up. That sounds great. Well, pleasure to have you. Pleasure nice to, to meet you. you. Thank uh, you. We'll check in on you. Awesome. And, uh, you know, hope you have a really good day. Thank you, too. Thanks for being here. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.